trying to get myself together after all of that beautiful energy y'all giving. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love all of this energy y'all are giving. Today, it, it, it's a new year. And what a new year that it is. It's full of so many blessings. And I said when I walked into this year, I said it was gonna be, I'm gonna try not to get too emotional, but if you've been watching the show, you probably know by now I am an emotional girl and I don't take anything lightly. But first, let me say thank y'all so much for being here today. And thank everyone at home who has been watching the show. I wanna also say that, but again, like I was saying, I'm gonna try to not get too emotional on y'all today, but it, it, I'm just looking at this year and how it's already starting out. And, I, and the song, I call this the happy place. And I say, you got to speak it in your day. It's in what you say. And when I walked into this new year, my son and I actually, and he said, it's going to be new beginnings, mama. And I said, it's going to be a year of victory. OK? And I was recently back home during the holidays, as we all were. And one of my cousins said, you know what? You're blessed because God trusts you. You know, he trusts you and he has enlarged your territory. And that, that, that has truly stuck out to me because today is a major day of celebration. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Jesus. My God, today, when I look at, as I came out here, I'm overwhelmed because I walked through the entire staff, yeah. staff and crew of the Jennifer Hudson show. And already, I'm still processing the fact that Jennifer got a show, first of all. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I, 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 I put my notes down, but I like to speak from the heart. And I like to live in the moment. And I couldn't help but to look at each and every individual. Yes, it may be called the Jennifer Hudson Show, but look around this room. The crew, the staff, it is so many people that, here, that is here daily, day to day, working like nobody's business to pull this show together so that I can come out here and simply just be Jennifer. And I am so grateful and I look at them all and I think about what my cousin said, this is what God has trusted you with. And then I come out here and look at each and every one of you and to see you here and it's just, to see the people come together on one accord and positivity, that is a dream and a goal of mine. And so to you and to the viewers at home, I want to say thank you all for giving me your hearts. Thank you all for letting me. I love y'all so much. I love you so much, I really do. Thank you for, for letting me into your homes, into your lives, and just, you bless us just the same. And it's y'all energy that lifts us up. So you have just as much of a part of us being here as us pushing and working as hard as we do on this side. So again, here at J-Hard Productions, we get credit where it's due. But my point is, y'all, we done done it. Jesus has did it again. And I like to sing. Oh, but we made it. Y'all, the Jennifer Hudson Show has got renewed for season two! My God! You better celebrate! Woo! Oh my God! Okay. Okay. Don't you want to run this show? Listen! Like, and, 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 and I want to say, it's, it, thank y'all for that. But give yourselves a hand, too, because again, you were a part of it. So that's what my tears is for. And I know I talked your heads off, but that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, we do a lot of things, and sometimes you get, I think this happens to all of us as adults. We're so busy doing stuff that we never stop to think about, like, this is what I prayed for. This is what I wanted. It's happening. 
and embracing it, right? Well, this is one of those moments. And honey, I'm the kind of that's like, look, I'm the fool to try it, but I'm sitting here looking too, like, what's gonna happen? How it's gonna go? But, but you, you have to trust your journey and walk into it. And so now, we in 23, and we are gonna glide on through this thing into season two. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Now, before they make me go to commercial break, I wrote a few words. <laughs> but it's, it's just so many things that I want to say, and my heart is so full. But uh, let me see if I can keep up with myself. But again, to the crew and the staff, I feel like I'm giving an acceptance speech or something. <laughs> I love y'all so much, and I appreciate y'all so much, and I would not be able to live this life without you. <laughs> oh, my God. Lord, I'm trembling. And then I have to give a special shout out to also the guests, the guests, all the guests that come and sit on this couch. They have blessed all of our spirit and just bring in their energy, their star power, their human, their hearts. And that's what this is about. And then um, my family to my, my baby, little David, he is such a trooper. You know, I, I recently told him, I was like, do I tell him before or do I tell him after? But this is a huge year for him. And most likely he'll come here and go to high school. And that's a huge transition, but he has, God, he, that child has been born to be nothing but a blessing. And so I wanna say thank you to my son for just always supporting his mom and being just such a, just a, a inspiration of a child and just being there in support and supporting his mom and, and watching him grow up. And, and it's a huge transition that we're going for and I'm proud of him for taking this journey with me. So I love my baby. No, I got, I got a few more seconds, but I love y'all and I appreciate y'all and just know I'm so grateful for the opportunity. You give me the opportunity, I'm gonna do my best to make it work. I do not take this lightly at all. And remember, most of all, you will always see me try, but this is my mug to say, let's celebrate y'all. Let's celebrate. Thank you. We got a great show. We'll be right back. I didn't cry. We're about to be in the presence of some real life heroes. When a historic blizzard hit Buffalo, New York recently, Al and Vivian Robinson opened up their door to help rescue and shelter hundreds of strangers. Please welcome Al and Vivian. Ooh, Ooh. angels, that's all I can say. Praise God. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ooh. And thank you for all that you did to help save so many lives. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Tell us, how did it all start? Woo. Let me tell you this. My husband, mm -hmm. he hates going shopping. Mm. OK? He <laughs> hates. And for the strangest reason, he wanted to go shopping at 8 o'clock on that day. Really? Yes, so we got up. I even went in my pajamas because I wasn't wasting any time going to the store with my husband. Uh -huh. So we went to the store and we went shopping and we came home at 9 o'clock and we just said, we're going to stay in. We're going to get ready for um, Christmas with the children and grandbabies. And that was going to be it. Yeah. I wasn't messing with that buffalo snow. So at the time, you didn't know like the huge blizzard was coming or you were preparing for it? We knew, but we didn't know the magnitude of how bad this was going to be. Mm -hmm. So we just said, you know what? I'm going to stay in today. We're going to stay in. So and it was what... best that y'all did stay in? Yes. Did yeah. you find out how bad the conditions were? Like, how bad were they? Do you see this? Wow. Yes. Um, when the snow, we were at home like any other Buffalonians, relaxing and just waiting to see how the storm was going to play out. My husband was on there saying, well, you know what? We're going to, he made all these phone calls, mm -hmm. checking in on people. And then later on, I said at 11 o'clock, I said, we need to open up the church. We live right there. Wow. So my house is here. And when you go out the door, we're right in the auditorium. So literally, we were right there. And so... From that point, we just thought we were just going to get a few people, mm -hmm. or none at all, but it started filling up. You know, it, it, what's really curious about this is that we lost power. Our neighborhood lost the power. The neighborhood. Right. The entire neighborhood lost power. Temperatures in the houses started dropping from 70 degrees down to 30 degrees. Pipes are already freezing. My wife has just put a post out uh, alerting people that they need to come to the church if they don't have uh, warmth in their homes. Now, bear in mind, we have the wind swirling around at 70, 80 miles an hour, negative 24 degree temperatures, and you can't see beyond your nose. It was just complete whiteout in all directions. Uh -huh. So it was a negative 24. Yes. 
No heat. No heat. For these families. These families. For the families. But you all had. Yes. We had heat, and then there was people stranded. So you had truckers, you had people coming in, traveling, getting last minute things. So the storm stopped you right where you were. Right where you if were. If you were not in the house, you either were going to make it or you were going to die that day. Wow. wow. So how did y'all find people to help? Well, she put a Facebook post out, right? And it was shared like 20, 2,900 times. And after it was shared, we immediately came up with a strategy on how we're gonna extract these peoples from their homes. I'm a New York State chaplain, and in the New York State Chaplain Task Force, we're educated on FEMA, all these grand emergencies. Mm -hmm. And so although I'm a pastor, we got out there and we just went to work. We assembled a team of uh, four snowmobilers. Those snowmobilers, we had a master list. We sent them to that, those uh, individual homes. He pulled the people out. And, and it just kept growing and growing and growing and growing. Yes. Well, and then how that... <laughs> I always say, God always got somebody. Oh, yes. So what was it like when, when people started to come into to your place? And what did, how did y'all prepare for them? Basically, when they came in, we had the first phone call. So she came, and, and it was her and her boyfriend, and she was pregnant. And so she came in and I put her in the Bible study room. I had given them blankets and they were like in tears. And then I gave them um, tea or whatever, coffee, warm blankets, just to make sure they were comfortable. And I embraced them because it was so much going on. And then another family, we had one mother was stranded getting off from work and then her children came to rescue her and then they got stranded. And then her sister came and brother-in-law came to get them, then they were stranded. So we had this family stranded and she thought she was going to die. She had blisters on her- Blisters? Yes. Like third degree on her, burns on her ankle. almost from the ice. Oh legs gosh. well enough. Legs. So we were just getting things all ready for them. So when they came in, we were just making sure each family was comfortable. Wow. And it was like men with, yes. How do y'all feel knowing that you saved so many lives? Honestly, it felt normal and natural, but when you look back at the 154 people that were in... 154, 154 people. people that we woke up with on Christmas Day, when you look at that and you, your heart just bubbles over with joy right. uh, that you were able to just be the face, the light, and the love of Christ. Mm. God always got somebody. Wow, you guys are amazing. We're gonna keep talking, okay? Okay. Thank you. More with the Robinsons after this. We're back with P. Rose, Al, and Vivian Robinson. Okay, so how many days were the people sheltered for? Six days. Six days. They were at my home for six days. I call it my home because they had free reign to be there. So we were there for, they were there for six days. And during that six days, we had to serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and had to keep them occupied and make them feel like they were at home. And safe, huh? Yes. Yeah, at the same time, we were running extractions and uh, rescue operations in the city of Buffalo, pulling people uh, that were still stuck in homes back to our church. Back to the church? Yes. He brought a lady home. I carried a, I got this one phone call, and uh, <clears throat> she said, Pastor, you know, I, I can't walk. I, I guess she was uh, like paraplegic, and uh, she's a cancer survivor. Mm. And she says, Listen, I don't want to. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die this way. Could you please come get me now? All of our snowmobiles have been dispatched, and I looked at my wife, and you know, and my wife's looking at me, and we're seeing all these terrible pictures of things going on, and I said I'm left with no choice but to go get her. And I, you know, I hurt my back in 2015, broke it, and uh, the Lord allowed me to carry this woman two and a half blocks mm. from where she was back to the church. That is, that's a testimony. Yeah, it's good. It really is. What was Christmas Day like at the church? Christmas Day for us, it was beautiful. And I'm, I'm sorry, but um, I keep thinking about these amazing families and the lives that would have been on our streets in Buffalo if we wouldn't have never, ever said yes to these people and these babies and these seniors that was in the house. So Christmas for us was basically, I got up, made breakfast like normal. Then after that, we had the Hispanics make um, Hispanic food. Then we had the Italians make Italian food. Then we had soul Aww. food. So that was the Christmas for us. <laughs> that is so beautiful. 
Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you guys are amazing, and I think you probably kind of over the cold in the weather, right? <laughs> so that's why we're sending you guys on a vacation. <laughs> You're getting a six-night all-inclusive stay at Sanders Resort in St. Lucia. You'll enjoy gourmet restaurants, beautiful beaches, and a round-trip airfare. God bless you for blessing so many. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you so Please. much. Thank you so much. God bless you. That's Thank amazing. You. God bless you. Thank you. Thank we'll you. Bless you more. We'll be right back. Thank you. Our next guest is a comedian and actress you know from Mad TV and her very funny stand-up specials. Now she's on tour all over the country. Please welcome Angela Johnson Reyes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, listen. Now, have we ever met before, you think? Okay, so we haven't met, but fun, funny story, um, a stylist had dressed you for an event, uh -huh. and then whatever purse you were using for that event, somehow I got it the next week, and your driver's license was still in there. Really? My license was in yes. there? Yes, and I was like, oh, I wonder who used this purse before me. Oh. Um, so I didn't actually get to meet you, but I do know your full home address, so that's... <laughs> Now, you sent me my ID back, right? <laughs> yeah, I gave it back. Okay, because I'm like, I don't remember this. Did it get that? That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so you kicked off 2023 with very exciting news. You announced that you are pregnant. With yes. Your first baby. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Wild. Do you, how are you feeling? I feel good. I, I'm enjoying... I've, I have so much to learn, you uh -huh. know, because I always said I didn't want kids, and then I turned 40, I was like, let's just give it a go. You know yeah, I mean? You're going. Um, yeah, so I'm like learning so much. I love watching my body change, like getting a little bump, like my boobs are huge right now, it's weird. It's like, it's just, it's wild. Oh, and what is it like sleeping through the night while you're on tour? Oh, that's not a thing. It's not a It's thing. not a What I, do you mean it's not a thing? You're I so have to pee so many times <laughs> that can throughout happen. the night. And I guess like it's training me to like be up throughout the night, but I get up to pee like at least three times a night. It is so wild. It's like I, it's the beginning of the end of my sleep is what it is. I, yeah. Did you have an agenda reveal? Is it is it a surprise? Well, we don't know yet. We we Ooh. don't know. I'm not gonna do a big huge like party or anything, but I was supposed to find out on Christmas. The doctor told my sister she was gonna bake us a cake and we we're just gonna do a little family thing. And then all the flights got canceled, so we missed Christmas. So my sister knows what I'm having and I still <laughs> don't. Your sister knows but yeah. you don't. Yeah. Oh my God, Christmas is a while ago. I know, we still haven't figured out how we're gonna like find, cause she was like, I could do it on Zoom. I'm like, boo, boring. I like, know. So I don't know yet. <laughs> well, yeah. She's keeping it quiet too. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, and she's sis. like, can we hurry? Because I keep almost <laughs> feeling the beans and like everybody's calling her like, what is she having? She's like, I signed an NDA, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sister. <laughs> okay, so your husband is, you guys are from California? Well, um, I'm from California, but we just recently... Oh, and you, you moved to Nashville? Yeah, we just moved to Nashville. What is that like? So, California to Nashville. Yeah. Right? So my husband's in music, so it made sense for us to be in Music City, Nashville, all the writing sessions there. And um, it's different being a California girl living in the South. Uh -huh. Like, little things are different. Like, like what? very simple. Like, so in LA, if I go to store and they're like, can I help you find anything? I'm like, I'm okay. And then if I'm feeling real friendly that day, I'm like, I'm okay, thanks. Like, that's it. <laughs> and then I get to Nashville, I'm at TJ Maxx one day, because mm -hmm. that's my store. <laughs> so I'm at TJ Maxx and I can hear the ladies in the road next to me, can I help you find anything? I'm all right, but thank you so much for asking. <laughs> It's my pleasure. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. Yes, it is. But they say it's going to rain about 3 o'clock. Make sure you get home for the traffic. It's they give happen. all of that? Bless your heart. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know if I have energy for the South. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. That is so funny. So you've had also run-ins with the wildlife. What kind of wildlife is out there at your home? So, OK, listen, we have bugs in California, but our bugs are cute, you know? And then... <laughs> I get to Nashville and it's like National Geographic stuff happening out there. <laughs> like, one day I went to get in my shower and there was a spider in my shower. Mm -mm, I can but do the spiders. This spider was so big, I thought I was interrupting him. <laughs> I did, because I went to open my shower curtain. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know anybody was in here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> like big, and he was furry. No. Yes. You know I'm terrified of Like, spiders. I didn't know if I should brush it or smush it. It was. Ooh, go run. I all duh. Oh my God. Oh, okay. One time there was a snake just going across my driveway just for fun. No. Here, just, Girl, just come back here. Just across for no reason. This all in Nashville? Yes, just there. I'm like, all right, you know what, Nashville, bless your heart. Knock it off. Them spiders, wow. they take me out every time. Okay, so you released your first book. Tell, I did. Tell everyone what it's about. Thank Y'all see this book? First book, it's called Who Do I Think I Am? Stories of Chola Wishes and Caviar Dreams. <laughs> because I wanted to be a chola real bad. <laughs> but um, my last name is Johnson. Nobody was scared of little Payasa Johnson. Like, it just, it didn't work. It didn't have a sting to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so really, nobody was scared. Um, and so Who Do I Think I Am? is stories of like self-identity. Growing up Mexican-American, but I didn't speak Spanish. And like, figuring out who I am. But it's also, who do I think I am to dream such big dreams and go for them? Mm. Who do I think I am? I love that. The audacity yes. to say something like, I want to be an actress one day. Like, what did I know about being an actress? Nothing. You know what I mean? So it's stories of how I got to where I am today, the ups and downs, trials and tribulations, like very honest stories in there. Like, uh, my chapter six is called, I'm dating you because I'm hungry. <laughs> Um, you gotta survive out here in these streets. You know what I mean, girl? I love uh, that. Yes, chapter four is called I Love Jesus, But I Will Punch a Ho. It's, keep it real, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> you gotta be honest. I did okay. not see that coming. Okay. It's like, God bless you, but back up, you know? Like. Oh, the lie, you know. Angela. <laughs> More Angela, we'll be right back. <laughs> We're back with Angela. Please tell us about your stand up tour. Yeah, so I'm finishing my Who Do I Think I Am tour. We did over 80 cities, amazing sold out tour. I'm so blessed that people still want to hear from me and come to my shows. And <laughs> you know, like, it's sold out. I, I, I'm, really, I'm really blessed. So we're finishing it up. I have my final few cities. I have like six cities left and then six we're done. Cities. Yeah. Nice, congratulations. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Okay. And and you bring your dog on tour with you? I do. I bring my dog. He's my firstborn. That's my son. That's your firstborn. Yes. I bring him out on the road with me. He cut. Yes. This is too cute. That's the start of the show. He'll he'll run across the stage, and then everybody knows like, oh, we're about to get started. And then like he'll be sitting in my green room, and while I'm on stage, and he's just asleep, like just lounging, like it's his room. Right? <laughs> he'll just be asleep, but he knows my show. He he knows when I'm about to what wrap do you it mean? up, and I start my very last joke. He he wakes up. And like, we have it on video, he'll be like dead asleep. And then I start my last joke and then he just like pops up and he's waiting for me to come in. Like he knows I myself. love that. He's been on over 80, like mm, 100 flights, tour buses. Like he's a travel dog. He I likes to travel dog. too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Does yeah, he yeah. take pictures? Yeah, he sounds good, look at him, he's the star. Oh my God, that is so he's precious. He's the star of the show. Okay, so I got a few topics for you. Okay. And I wanna see what you think. Let <laughs> okay. me play a little game. Okay. All right, crime shows. Oh, yes, love my crime shows. Um, all the like syndicated crime shows. Like if it's like critically acclaimed, I'm probably not watching it. Okay. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I, I want it to be like reruns on the USA Network like all day long. Like so I'm you talking like SVU's, <laughs> Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is my favorite. Crip Honey, oh Criminal my God. Minds, every episode, yes. Oh my goodness, I'm with you on that one. Shopping at Costco. Oh, okay, yes. I have approached the age where I now get my clothes the same place I get my groceries. Um, <laughs> Yes, Kirkland, come through. Okay, yes, Kirkland, gang, gang. <laughs> You're so funny. Getting older. Okay, uh, I always thought I was gonna be the girl that no matter what age I was, I was just gonna embrace it. Like, that's me, yes, queen, yes. And uh, turns out that's something you say in your 20s. Um, <laughs> and then you get to your 40s and you're like, ooh, no queen, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sharing a toothbrush. Okay, so no. Um, in the beginning of our marriage, I've been married for almost 12 years. My husband tried to use my toothbrush one mm. time, and he was like, "Can I use your toothbrush real quick?" And I was like, "Wait, like that's an option for you? Like that's <laughs> that's acceptable? Hold on, um, no." 
And then, so that was in the beginning of marriage, and I figured, like, he learned his lesson, and then recently, our flights were canceled, like, we were stuck in Texas. <laughs> My toothbrush was on the luggage, he had his, I was like, oh, I need a toothbrush. He was like, oh, just use mine. And I was like, sir, like, <laughs> no, sit, take me to Target. What, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, wearing stilettos. So, I'm bow-legged. <laughs> Um, so when, when I walk in heels, my, my bow legs go like this, so that the ends of my heels like get shaved off when I walk in them. <laughs> so it's not safe for me to be in stilettos. <laughs> like, th this is as high as I got right here. Like, that's... It's, that's a little it's, boop. <laughs> just a little... <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> this, yeah, I love it. Well, well, we got something for you and the baby. Can we give you a gift? Oh, my God. For you in the bag. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh. Here we go. So you can sleep well oh while you finish your fabulous tour. And then you have something. Thank for you. A keepsake from Jennifer Hudson Show for your beautiful baby. Congratulations on everything. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Will you come back? Absolutely. We want to meet Thank the baby you. one day, okay? Yeah. Okay, see Angela on her sold out tour. The Who Do You Think I Am? Tour, which concludes with two shows at the Will Turn on February 11th. We'll be right back. Okay, are uh, y'all ready for a little church today? Yes. My next guest is a five-year-old preacher who went viral when his mom captured him baptizing his toy in the bathtub. You gotta see this. <laughs> I'm huh? ready. You ready? Yeah. Ready for what? The baptism. Um, get, get the back what? The water. Get chased. Chased and fell off the floor. And there's the water. You sure? Me to the water. Take me to the water. Obedience to the command. I baptize you, the Father, the Son. Live the Holy Ghost. Oh. Oh. Come on, please welcome Luke, his mom, Katrina, and Dad Ezra. Come on out. Well, how are you? Oh, oh, it's a blessing. Did you want to say something to the congregation at all? Well... Pleasure, y'all. <laughs> it's your pleasure. Now, tell me about baptizing your toys. So, I got it for our father. He baptized me. I asked her, and, I, and I, he said, I'll baptize you the next Sunday. <laughs> It was a little longer than that. It was a little longer than yeah. that. Yeah. He, he was, I've been, been asking since I'm two years That's old. Right. And yeah. how old are you now? Five years old. Five years old. And how old was he when he got baptized? He was four. You were four? Yeah. Uh-huh. You want to be like your dad? Uh-huh. Yes. And I, and I, do you want to know what I'm going to be when I grow up? I'm going to be a pastor and a Christian. Yes, sir. <laughs> I believe you, brother. <laughs> And how does it feel that he wants to follow in your footsteps? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I, I'm thinking now, you know, the pressure is always on PKs and the whole development of him desire to want to do it and authentically want to do it. It's a blessing. I think this, uh, this year is 20 years of me preaching, and he preached to 20 million people in one week. I haven't reached that in 20 years. I'm very happy Look about it. Look at that! I've been watching him! <laughs> what you say? You was watch you been watching? I've been watching him! You have? I'm serious! Just like him when I grow up. Mom, what you got to say? I'm just overjoyed. You know, God is good. The fact that he is using a five-year-old to spread the message of baptism yes. is something that we need, you know, in the two, three. <laughs> yes. Amen! Yes, amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! Lord, have mercy! Hallelujah! Let him know. <laughs> Now, now, I saw, because that took me back to church mm. when I saw the clip when you sang, Take Me and to he, the Water. And he, and he let me wear his robe. Look at that. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's your robe? That's his robe. That's, that's, still, that's still at home. Mm-hmm. That's still at home. It his is. Robe. Yeah. I wish you could tell what I do. So it's at home. I'd be like, that cowboy, you won't. 
I'm curious to know from y'all, like, what age was it that you realized that, you know, I, you anointed, young man? Uh, well, Luke, uh, we have four sons, and um, all of them are gifted and special in their own way. Um, Luke, we, we definitely noticed his love for, for Christ around the age of two. I had never, my goal as a mom was to teach my sons the model prayer by the age that they were two. Luke, he... Oh, thank Come on. <laughs> Come on, put your hands together. Let him know. Come on, thank my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he, he um, you know, I would read scripture to all of them, but Luke, he, he just knew certain things that I had not taught him. So I never taught him at the age of two that the cross was connected to Christ. But somehow, by way of the Holy Spirit, amen, uh, he knew that the cross was Jesus. We was riding um, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. We were riding around, and um, we saw a church that had a cross on it, and he said, Jesus, Jesus, at two years old. I'm like, Jesus! Yes. Of course, at two, you know, he couldn't, you know, read or whatever, but he would, he would say things that was in Scripture that I had not yet read to him. So things were being revealed to him at a very, very early I'll age. I'll tell you scripture. Come on, tell me your scripture. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believed in him shall not perish and do shall not die, but have everlasting life. Yes! 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 Oh, my God. You better open up the doors of the church, young man. Now, now, woo yeah. Oh, my God. You were singing, take me to the water to be baptized. Can uh. you, can you sing it? All right. Can we sing Take it? me to the water, y'all. Take me to the water, Take me to the water, oh, 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 to be baptized. Tied. Nothing but the water, just nothing but the water. Nothing but the water. Nothing but the water. Nothing but the water. Nothing but the If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.